Hello everybody, this is Chris Nelson at Go Engineer, and in today's video we will be going over how to restrain bodies inside of SOLIDWORKS simulations. So to begin, make sure that you have SOLIDWORKS simulation enabled. To do that, click the SOLIDWORKS add-ins button, then click SOLIDWORKS simulation. If you don't have that tab, go to tools, down to add-ins, and check the box next to simulations, then click OK. Once that has happened, you'll have these two new tabs right here, and also have the simulation toolbar. Click the simulation tab, then click new study. By default, it will choose the static study, and specify a name. I'm just going to keep it a static one, click the check mark, and you don't have the study. If you look at the bottom, you'll see your static one. On the side, you have your static information, the tree, and we have fixtures. And what that does is it fixes the object in a certain place at a certain point. So right click it and click fix geometry to get a small example. Now it'll be fixing a face. We could choose this face or this face. You can choose many faces as you would like. And if you look at this example, you will see what it means when it is fixed. This face is fixed, so it's held in that place and the rest of the model will move in relation to that based on the forces applied through other parts of the study. With the fixed geometry option, it will hold the plane in all three planes and will not give it any rotational freedom either. It won't move at all and it will be ready to run the study, but if we need like a roller slider kind of fixture, you can see even though we've placed a fixture, it is only constrained in the z direction. So it needs to be constrained in the x and y. Let's exit out of that, right click again and go to advanced geometry. You can see there are many different fixtures and some of them will fully fix the part. And sometimes you need a combination of different fixtures to make sure that at least one point the part is held together to better represent this. Let's create an assembly. Go to file, make assembly from part, and wait for it to load. Now click the check mark and it will just put that part in. But we want to float this, so right click and go to float. Now the model can be moved around because it is not tied down. Right click and click move with triad. What we do with this triad is it lets us move the part in different directions, the x direction, y direction, z direction, and rotate it. For a part to be fully defined as a fixture, there needs to be one point on the model that is completely held in place. So we have the x direction, the y direction, the z direction, but also those corresponding ones in rotations. So we have y-axis, x-axis, and z-axis rotations. If you're running into trouble with restraining, make sure that your model is fully restrained at least one point in all these directions. I hope you found the SOLIDWORKS tutorial video useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our courses at Go Engineer.